Here we go. Thought I'd do a little update as I haven't done one for a while. Uh, so these are some runners off the strawberries. Start a new lot. In here we got a we got a nice trailing fuchsia. Just took some cuttings. Hopefully a uh, couple of weeks they'll be nice and rooted. The uh, gherkins are pickling. They're climbing away like crazy now. So a couple of weeks and they'll be in fruit. Another jalapeno, as if I haven't got enough jalapenos. It's coming into coming into bud, coming into flower. Still got some hot uh, hot chilies, super hots. Absolutely ton of uh, jalapenos um, in here. It's just reached the top of the greenhouse. It's just man, it's gone mad. I don't know why, but it has. It's like a it's like a tree. Look at it. Look at a stem. It's like a a bloody tree in the greenhouse. Plenty of uh, cukes still coming along. Look at them, just all hanging off. Got cucumbers, just as well. Jalapenos, crazy. We've got some broccoli that'll be going out in about two weeks, and we've got some curly cow also be going out in a couple of weeks. And uh, broccoli will be ready for spring. Next year, so it'll be a nice early crop. Fuchsia's doing well, all in flower. Looking absolutely spanking. The rain's uh, smashed it about a bit, but uh, not to worry. And the hanging fuchsia's doing well. The hanging geranium's doing okay. It's just finished flowering, so a couple of weeks that'll be in flower again. So it's doing well. Little crop. Marrows, uh, courgettes, uh, summer squash, baby uh, pumpkins, they're called munchkin pumpkin, they don't get any bigger than that. Just uh, pop them in the oven and just roast them, put two or three on your plate, absolutely gorgeous. We've got a uh, crop of jalapenos, we've got some uh, Hungarian hot wax, these ones here, are really hot. Got some cayennes, cayenne peppers there, they're absolutely red hot. These uh, little small uh, Thai chilies, they're very, very hot as well. These are super hot. And uh, the size of this one to this one, I don't know if they get that in the frame. Absolutely mad. That is crazy. Absolutely massive. Well, there you go. Just going to wash a few baby carrots off. Go down for the old Sunday lunch. But uh, all doing well. A few runners. About five pound of runners. Tomatoes, well, what can you say about the tomatoes? It's crazy. There's an absolute ton of tomatoes on there. All in all different varieties. Pear, oh, there we go. There's the kettle. Let's turn the kettle off. Samps are coming in, the sprays are coming into flower now, or coming into budding up, I should say. So it won't be too long before they uh, before they flower. The autumn raspberries, they're unbelievable. The size of these on here, they're absolutely huge. I'll take a few of those home. Definitely have a few of those after my tea. Absolutely beautiful size of them. These are like treble the size of a, a summer raspberry. Incredible. Strawberries are still flowering. As you can see, getting pollinated by flies and hoverflies. I'm curious. What's that? Huh? So here we are. Strawberries are still flowering. A few. Uh, few strawberries still around. There we go. Rhubarb still going crazy. Rhubarb just doesn't stop does it? Plenty of beets still. Pickled a load of beet last week. There's a plenty more in there for, for pickling. 
I'll do that when I get a bit more time. The cow's picking up after the wood pigeons decided to have uh, share it. And the uh, bright lights and the red cabbage is doing really well. There we go. So we've got some primos are doing well. They've been really, really nice. Perfect, lovely and small. I uh, dug the corn up today. Uh, squirrels took all the big ones. I couldn't believe it. They never touched it last year. And they absolutely uh, mullered it. Came down on Wednesday, had a look. And then came down today and even more was gone. So they, they left me the smaller ones. But that's okay. There's still about 20 of those. But they, they'd actually had about 20 as well. So more tomatoes on there. Plenty of tomatoes and fruit. We've been... Uh, been eating them for a few weeks. Doing well, Dahlia. It's looking absolutely gorgeous. There's a little spider there. Is it catching all the little bugs for me? Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Got a nice burgundy one coming out there. That'd be nice when that comes out. I have a few white ones as well. Tomatoes still flowering. They don't stop. These are little pear, they're called pear tomatoes. Really nice. Just took some carrots out there for the roast Sunday. And a few more carrots coming up there. Just waiting for some more red cabbage, to, uh, red lettuce to come through. And the uh, radish just coming up now. A couple of weeks. The uh, runners. Run is just crazy, like you just you just miss them all the time. Like every time you think you've got one, there's another three appears. Incredible the amount we've had off of these. So, marigolds do doing well. The melon's outside now, he's been out for a week. No arm done, he's doing all right. Begonia, begonias are coming up now. Hopefully we'll see a few flowers in them in a couple of weeks. It's trailing fuchsia, hanging fuchsia, doing well. These are, these are looking absolutely gorgeous. There we are. So let's have a look. Still marrows. Still doing well. Still plenty on there. Chilies again. And it's just, just hundreds. Doing really well. Really well. These are super hots as well. Pumpkins coming along. There we go. It's doing well. There's one there. There's another one. Oh, that one's been eaten. Oh well, not to worry. There's another one down there as well somewhere. Absolutely mad. Oh, another marrow. If we look around. Another marrow. There's another pumpkin in there. Yep. And then another little. It's troweled all the way out here. All the way. Got to be 20 foot long this. There's another little pumpkin. Just on the end there, look. This uh, summer squash, it's called Roulette. It's the round one that you saw in the box earlier. Doing well. All the herbs are still doing well. The uh, potatoes now, all the foliage is dying off, but the potatoes in there will be fine. This one we've already eaten from planted another three up there, put them in now, they'd be ready for Christmas Day for a few roasties. Plenty of uh, flowers on the cucumbers on the outside. Incredible. Right then, I think that's about it. Come this morning there was a big old orange slug and he'd eaten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven lettuce. But there you go, share and share alike.
I've not done too bad with the uh, with the slugs. Okay, so we've finished the video. And that. Goodbye. See you next time. So here we are. The gherkins are in. There's six outside here. So I had to take them out of the greenhouse. It was far too crowded. Lots of little gherkins on there. You can see them. Tiny little things. So hopefully, a couple of weeks' time, we'll be pulling those little gherkins off. Celery's doing well. Yeah. Celery's doing well. Had a good harvest of. Uh, chilies today. The uh, aubergine, aubergine's doing well. There's so many fruits on here. It's unbelievable. There must be, I don't know, 50 fruits. Look at them. Incredible. First time growing them. I didn't know they actually grew like that. That many, that prolific. Just done a harvest of tomatoes. There's still a ton on there. It's all different, different types. Yellow ones, striped ones, red ones, orange, yellow. There we go. That's not a bad little hole. It's a big old 10 inch pot. Absolutely toppers. Uh, plenty to be getting on with. So uh, there we go. And uh, got another five gherkins still in here in the greenhouse. Tiny little gherkins. See them that are on. So uh, hopefully we'll have some of those nice ones that the old chip shop does. Who knows? We'll see. There we go. There we go. What's the recipe today, Jim? Well, it's uh, pasta and salsa, cheese, leek, and ham today absolutely gorgeous you've got to try these they are amazing perfect for the allotment unbelievable but well, there you go